But what happens afterwards it is just so bizarre in circumstances where someone has said, you have been so violent, I fear for my life, and I want the whole world to know, and I don't want you to come anywhere near me. And that is that she gets tired, and she asks if she can go to sleep in his hotel room, in his bed. And she invites him into the bed, and he declines. Get out. Thank you. Fucking Rochelle, you're giving me shit. You're a fucking, you are a leftover fucking over the hill stripper. And that's all you'll ever be. And this industry, all you've done, I can't clear that. You're recording? Yeah, I am. Go. Hi. I'd like to say hello to David and Paige and say that, uh, I love you, and um, I'm sorry this didn't work. And he goes and sits in the living room, and this is the evidence he gave. And he puts his head in his hands, and he cries because he cannot understand how he's got to this position where his ex-wife, who is accusing him of all of this nonsense, all of this shit as he describes it, and she doesn't deny that, is lying in his bed. And that's, we say, such a powerful point in demonstrating that these allegations were untrue. 